Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot, and today we're going to go ahead with your Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Taurus. So Taurus, you'll be the first to start with as the earth sign, and that was flush, so thank you spirit. I've been praying and talking to you already, so I know you feel my energy. Please bless these cards. I trust the flush and the cut. Thank you so much, and I'll deal with these cards for you. All right, Taurus. Wow. I'm going to do my process. Let's see. Oh, yes. Just to let y'all know, uh, for any of you ha who haven't seen the last video I posted, I am now on Medium Chat. So if you're looking to get a reading from me, you can go on to Medium Chat and um, get a reading from me there. I still offer readings here on the channel, and those are $55 for like 30 minutes. And I can either do like a um, phone call, a video chat, or I can create you a YouTube personal private video where only you can see it, and I just send you the link. Uh, to your email and you can watch it as many times as you like so if that's something you're interested in please reach me at these divine tarot 411 at gmail or come over to um, medium chat it's an awesome professional site uh, with many psych psychics over there we have a great team and i would love to do a reading for you if you would so have me but we're going to jump right into your reading taurus bottom of the deck card is the six of swords so it looks like you are leaving a situation could be leaving a place looks like it's time for you to get out of dodge for whatever reason it's time to go so we're going to get clarity bottom of the deck here shows you've been juggling a lot struggling and juggling but you've been actually making things happen while doing this so you should give yourself an applause for still maintaining during the rough and rocky road. You see the waves in the background. You're doing what it needs to be done in the situation. So I applaud you and you're, you know, making things happen. Shows you're king of wands or you have one coming towards you in this cycle. And I also got the six of cups. So this could be a friend of yours from the past or a lover from the past or it could be you. This could be you and you have someone coming in to see you. Um, only you would know, but this is a king of wands, a king of magic. So he would be the life of the party. He would come in and get on the dance floor first, one of the first ones on, and y'all would be jamming. And this right here could be a past life love connection to where you were with someone in the past life. And now you're back together, coming back together in this life, and you may have not met yet. So... A lot of times you get this card, it's a karmic relationship card, or it's a past life friend, or like in the back in the day, or someone that you were with in the past life. Look at this. Look at all these bottom of the deck cards. And this is a twin flame. So this could be serendipity for you with this king, and this king will find his queen. And looks like, you know, you're leaving to go towards new love. So that's what it looks like it is for you, Taurus. We're going to get more clarity. And that is, these are all bottom of the deck cards. We haven't even started your reading. And this is showing what you're leaving from. So you're leaving from the Three of Swords to go to the Six of Swords. That's getting out of Dodge, a lot of pain, betrayal, hurt, you know, in these swords. But it's old news. There's no blood on these swords. So it's time to get out of Dodge. Okay. We're going to save this bottom of the deck card. <laughs> So towards the end, but we're going to start with your reading. Shows a shyster. So this is what you're leaving. The five to the six. <laughs> you also got the three. So this one caused you a lot of pain and heartache. And you stuck around. You tried to deal with it. You tried to be tried and true. But they're not tried and true back to you. And so that always leaves you here. And then... <laughs> Spirit is so awesome that once you heed the call, you do leave, they can bring in serendipity. Looks like you've been struggling, juggling and struggling in a past relationship. Now it's time for a karmic situation to happen. 
And this looks like it could be either a great friend or true love coming right to you. <laughs> I got to show you the bottom of the deck. <laughs> this is destiny. This is karma. This is meant to happen. And it's someone you've been with either in this life or your past life. You just can't beat that. <laughs> this is like what it's all about. That when we get this card, these cards like this, it's showing someone you're meant to be with, not just some anybody, but someone you're meant to be with. And it looks like it's going to be a king of magic, where you are the king of magic. Next card is the eight of swords. Wow, look at all these swords you got. So we got the six, we got the three, and we got the five. So three, five, six, eight. So it looks like you're stuck in your thoughts, but just know this is only for a short time. You will get clear because of the beautiful cards you already pulled. And then with karma on your side, you just can't lose. And we lose for a time. Once we've been hurt, we bounce back. It takes time to bounce back. But once you're ready, spirit lets you know you're ready because they make moves in your favor. Next card we got. Taurus is the justice card. You just can't get more karmic <laughs> than this. A lot of times when we're in those shysty relationships and we're giving all to these people, we're learning that we deserve better and it'll put us in stuck mode. But you deserve better than this, Taurus. You deserve better than that, Taurus. That's why you're getting out of Dodge. It might seem like you're stuck, but you're not. You're going to move forward and untie these binds and go right to what you're meant for what's right meant for you <laughs> look at this all these swords are thoughts and being trapped and not being sure but just know you have to use your intuition when you don't have the answer right now you know sometimes it's best to wait hold on until you do use your intuition divine discernment but you could just be waiting on the opportunity or divine timing so you can leave but looks like you're leaving. You're getting out of Dodge. And it looks like you'll have some spiritual help. God puts it on other people's hearts to help us in situations. And it looks like you will get that help that you need in this situation. It shows that you're passionate, fiery, creative page of one. So that means that you're ready. You're ready to step out on the town and enjoy yourself and be seen. So even though you could be a homebody, that could just be your energy, is that you're very dynamic and creative at this time, and you just can't lose with this king <laughs> and that page. He can make this page, you know, his queen if it's meant to be that. Also, Taurus, you got wishes coming true. Look how he's standing. <laughs> All his wishes are coming true. They're coming in. So you pull the wish card. So make a wish. You know, it could be anything, something big, something small. You never know till it comes in, but it's from spirit and you've earned this by doing what you knew to do. And you also got karma on your side with these wishes. So <laughs> wish good and wish for something of substance and something that you know will last the test of time. But it looks like that's coming anyway with <laughs> serendipity and true love after a time of struggle. And this is your new beginning. This is your inheritance. This could be minor arcana or major arcana. It just looks like God wants to bless you. After a time of not having, you're going to have. This is God, money, milk and honey, never hungry. Skies are sunny, even when you're sad, make you laugh. Well, it's funny, the feeling that you get, like everything's okay. In the middle of your storm is peace. Meditate and get this coin that God has for you. You also got the ace of swords, so truth is on your side in all things and all ways right now. You're very magical. Whoa, and you're going towards the best life ever. Holy smokes. Double ace and the ten of pentacles. I'm so happy for you, Tauruses. Next card. Yep, you're definitely getting out of dodge, so we keep getting out of dodge cards. Shows the rocky relationship, what you're leaving from the five. You're going... <laughs> double up you're gonna double up to the 10 and this is a graduation and so is this you're leaving this in the dust and that's that past relationship you are upgrading <laughs> and then you got who you really are 
and what's about to happen for you. You will be truly abundant. You know your worth. You're growing your coin, and you're a beautiful queen. And it looks like you'll have a beautiful king to match you. And you can have a young one around you or young ones that you uh, take care of, and they're with you right now. But all in all, beautiful offer of love, message of love, and you just can't be innocent in love like that. Next card is remain balanced even through trying times spirit is with you so you just want to remain in your divine masculine divine feminine marry the two so you feel whole within in your power and spiritually connected not so airy fairy in the sky but and not so you know you want to be spiritually grounded basically so become spiritually grounded and get in your power and this this in yo it's over so you did it like you done it this is 10 10 and look what you're leaving to go to <laughs> you're leaving this to go to this this is the worst card in the deck to get i feel it's just total betrayal and feeling backstabbed by life and look where you're going you passed the test to leave <laughs> this darkness and this horribleness to the best time the best life ever i'm so happy for you taurus and it shows you right now, the 9 to the 10, you're living in your garden of abundance, building up coins, living in your lap of luxury, but you're meant to be in love. You're meant to have someone to share this with, and it looks like it'll be someone you're meant to be with. How beautiful. And it'll be a wish come true for the both of you. <laughs> and it's karmic. It's meant to be. You got both karma cards, the most powerful and these are major arcana so you can't lose and what did i say you're gonna win in the end you got the victory card and you got these aces oh you got it all coming to you taurus so enjoy this next cycle it's a blessed time on the earth right now y'all stand in your truth stand in the truth and get ready to be blessed beyond Anything you ever thought you could be, when you get these two karma cards, God shows you in ways you've never been shown how beautiful you are and how much they love you. Thank you, spiritual superstars out there, all Tauruses. Blessings, blissfulness, peace, and love. Bye, y'all.